This is Abnormal Entertainment. So how much clickbait did you click on before you got here today? Glory hog? (laughs) All of it. Yeah. Yeah. Nuh-uh, we didn't get to to click on that I know, I really wanted to watch the kickstarting fails really bad. (laughs) I wanted to watch them too. It had like some raincoat underwear that I was really interested in. It looked like it might have some, I don't know, some electrodes electrodes attached to it. So it's like, it's raining outside, now you're going to get a shock. (laughs) I don't know what it was, but they seemed good. Maybe they were just kind of like vibrating underwear or something. Welcome to Glory Hound and the Uninvited Gamers. I'm your host, Glory Hound, and tonight's Uninvited Gamers are... Just Colleen. I forgot my name. Dr. Glory Hawk. Richard. And what would you guys like to talk about today? You gotta like put together some small talk? Or breathe deeply (laughs) into the mic? You must small talk now. Small talk now. Is that Do little? It. Is it? How's that sound? Perform for me. Talking. Dance, my minions dance. That's right. Um, That's yeah, board, hey, the board games are cool. Is that good? <laughs> we are the lollipop kill, the lollipop kill. <laughs> this, why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. We're making small talk. I went ahead or and went. On demand, small talk. Uh, I went over to play a bunch of games last night without all of you. Sweet. So you actually had a good time. Yeah, yeah, she ditched me. I was super awesome. I I went kickboxing for an hour and she played games. Yeah, you were were good and like you worked out and and bullets. I fooled around and freaking played a bunch of games with people. She fooled around. She probably doesn't want us to look on that fail thing because she might be on it. I played a whole bunch of social deduction games. Oh, so you need new so bait. So Colleen's yeah. glad just went like, <laughs> without if, her. If, yes. you play, if you play enough social deduction games or even like the same social deduction game, like a whole bunch of times, like for four hours, you pretty much can't fucking trust anybody at the end of oh, the I night. Oh, I don't trust Especially anybody wife, anyway. Said, I was fooled around. <laughs> Oops. My son, after those kind of games, doesn't believe anything I say. I'm like... Go to bed. He's like, is there a bed, Dad? Is there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I like a couple of them. I don't... I it Would uh, Deception count as... Yeah. I mean, I like yeah. that one. That one's okay. I like Werewolf is one. You yeah, know? I don't like that one. So. <laughs> you don't like that that's, one? That's my daughter's favorite, but I don't like it. Like the Avalon Yeah, ones, she likes yeah. that. Mm-hmm. You know what my daughter's yeah. favorite is, is Wonder Woman. Is is it? Is, <laughs> it? is there a game? <laughs> that's not a social deduction game. Oh, I thought we were going back to small game. talk. I'm not yeah. good at this. <laughs> we, we are small talking about social deduction. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, how yeah. how did that? How did Bet your you games go? Did you, like were you movie. were you the traitor every time? Like usually, um, I was the mayor a lot, so I couldn't be necessarily the traitor. And the one time I was going to be the traitor and the mayor at the same time, then like they were like, "You've been mayor so many times. Like, why don't you give it to somebody else?" And I'm like, "Oh man, <laughs> like that would have been awesome." Uh, but it was really it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was interesting going through though all the different ones and seeing. Because it's minor differences. You can't really get around the whole social deduction thing without having the same basic rule sets, you know? You have, like, hidden, uh, what is it? Not personalities, but hidden... Uh, Traits or... Agendas. Well, yeah, but, like, you know, your character. Oh, like, whether you're good or bad, you know? Right. Um, that, and then you have to talk about stuff. So you're stuff, like a person. <laughs> but you look normal, but you That's as far as social underneath. deduction games really go. It's like you talk about stuff, and then, like, your hidden person, and at the end you try to reveal something, you know? Yeah. So it was interesting playing that, like, four different times. <laughs> uh, but Very just revealing. each... Each very tiny like differences in each one of them. Tiny so differences. I think I think Battlestar Galactic. <laughs> that looks all right, but that's a favorite. tiny difference. That's one of your favorite ones. I think Battlestar Galactic is probably my favorite. Actually, we have that one. I mean, besides, uh, you know, Secret Hitler, but you know, that's oh. a different, completely. You different mean thing. chess light? Chess light. <laughs> you mean Munchkin right. light? Munchkin light. They're starting to take our stuff now. No. <laughs> Steve Jackson coming out with the, the Munchkin light. Hey, Steve, I'm I'm glad you're the, our only listener. <laughs> <laughs> Munchkin light. That's that was interesting. I wonder what that's even going to be like. Diet Coke. 
You just, just have like, like half t- the amount of words. It's like, like if you orc plus three. Well, they're if already you not making orc, negative three. They're already making some of those like into four player games, you know? Because we have a few of them that are just for four players, so I don't know what Munchkin Light would be exactly. It's it's basically taking like love letter. It's like ten cards, and you just like <laughs> which they already them. have love letter. They have loot Munchkin letter. Munchkin Light is they just do a have two player letter. game, and it's really just war, but with Munchkin art. I don't know. You flip up the card. I got I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to cards. figure it out. I don't know. Old men play that game. Ah! All men play war. Well, and what's everybody's favorite social social deduction game though? Role playing. <laughs> Role playing. Yeah, the deep it's long <laughs> trader. Yeah, everybody's got their own thing. I'm gonna refrain from <laughs> voting on this one. I recuse we- myself. <laughs> <laughs> <It's there. laughs> Well, I plead the fifth. You like deception in Hong the, Kong, right? Yeah, that one was fine. Ooh, it was fine. fine. Well, for her, it's th- fine. You didn't like it? Fine. No, it was fine. I, I wouldn't like maybe. A, it, it, you you, you like so you talking said, about that afterwards you, and them saying that. You love that, social so. games. Like, why don't you like social deduction games? Uh. I don't like <laughs> She's She's very. Sh- I'll answer for her. She's very straightforward. She doesn't like. Deception. Right. She doesn't want to be oh, okay, like in okay. the dark going like whose balls are these? She wants to know whose balls are in her mouth. Right. So lights she's, on. She just then. Right. Lights just on. go for it. And she right. doesn't she doesn't <laughs> want to mess around. That's true. <laughs> so all of it. <laughs> all the words said. All the words were true. I right. yeah, I and I'm not good at lying, you know. We tried to do like at, lying practice at lying, I'm, no. No, <laughs> I'm, the I'm not is blue. I'm not good at not being myself and that's kind of but part you, of that is lying about who you are and what you're doing and so why do you guys you know, have like, all those costumes who is your daddy and what does he do yeah i was gonna say but you have a bunch of role-playing games that you play right yeah and i don't play too far from myself that's actually a great segue because i was gonna say one time i wanted to play this awful bad evil chick and I couldn't do it. I couldn't think of anything that she would do. <laughs> like, I guess I jaywalk or yeah. something totally bad. I knock I over the base and then I feel really bad about it. Shoes and I I'm just can't kick at the air by way. a pigeon. Take that, Jerry. Yeah, she was like she was like an assassin and stuff like that, and she just didn't really do anything. I, <laughs> she just gives squinty eyes to everybody. I, I couldn't think of anything. I just I kept missing you opportunities. Just got killed. Yeah, so I'm just not I'm not good at. That kind of lying and not being myself. Usually, my characters are closer to who I am. Unfortunately, okay, I'm just not that good. Okay, I mean, but you know, that's that's typical of a lot of role players. A lot of times, you know, people just play themselves with like, you know, accoutrement of the character. Yeah, like you just you play know? yourself, and you're like, oh, I'll just be this guy, except I'm going to be like, but I have these six powers foot eight, or and I'm going to yeah. have weigh 450 pounds, cool. and can bench press a bus. I mean, like, but basically myself. I like a challenge, though. I don't mind playing different characters. Yeah, she, like, that's true. Or, She's played um, a snooty elf sorceress, <laughs> a snooty elf mage, <laughs> a snooty vampire. A no, snooty. No, 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 that is not Those true. Those are all characters you play. That is not played. true. <laughs> that is not true. They've all had a little bit of snooty booty in them. Well, Maybe it's just because I'm playing with you. Uh, Do you ever oh. think of that? Do you ever think of that, sir? Yeah, this is like I, the I, only place you can finally say no. <laughs> <laughs> it's in game. <laughs> but yeah, I think with, with RPGs and deception, you have to kind of like, to me, it's it's deception about like... Deception the RPG. Oh, well, I mean, that's go. pretty much Trademarked. a lot of games, but <laughs> it's it's about like trying to go one step in a direction if you're trying to get out of your comfort zone, right? Because with the deception uh, kind of theme of these kind of games, you kind of have to like go, okay, I have to be with the group and not and just try just to kind of. It's almost just. Why are you slipping your hand in? I see your hand doing stuff. I'm like, what are you trying? He's sliding his hand on the table. Uh, Tell me this. When I try to deceive people, just the tip. So, like, I think RPGs are about a lot of times about power fantasies, and if you can just be yourself, that's it's better. Wait, wait. when I talk about role playing, this is what people normally think I'm talking about. I think we're confusing things here. Power fantasy. We're talking about sex stuff, right? (laughs) No. Oh well, no! I, I, I'm teasing you, I Richard, but I, I I I agree. And if you can be yourself, but 
powerful and able, capable of doing things. Right. Being able to do things you can't normally do. A lot of people, that's what they see role playing. I, I see role playing as taking on a different character and letting that, you know, helping guide that character. What would that character do? I try and think from that character's perspective and not part my perspective. But then again, I've, you know, GM'd since I was, you know, in middle school. So I think. I just had that practice of trying to think of characters as the characters themselves and not myself. And I think a lot of people just don't have that practice. You kinda, well, it's nice it, if you can set yourself up with like a motivation though. So you kind of know like, well, what would I do? Because this is my end goal. Like when I was playing on yours, I was just trying to get like power anyway, capable. So people were like, oh, I'm going to kill this or do that. I'm like, sure, cool. I'm just going to steal this stuff over here. Yep. I'm just taking this stuff. This is cool, right? So like I had a motivation. I, I think for me, I'm, I'm, it's gonna sound, you know, creepier, but I'm I'm more of a watcher. I like to watch. <laughs> I said I was like to sound... watch the role playing. Well, so. I, no, I, I'm an observer. I like to sit body. in the shadows. I'm well, an observer. How's that? Does that sound better than watcher? So, <laughs> so I think that, I think this is kind so of an interesting challenge Tom. to like try because like to me it's all about going to you know having. Picking one thing the character really wants that's maybe not just something you would normally do. Like to watch. Just, not even just watching, but like, you know, different scented lubricants. I, I don't, <laughs> it, it's like being passive. It's the difference between like watching television and playing a game, you know, where you're interacting and you're causing changes and stuff like that. So like some people just like to kind of sit back and, and see what's going to happen and have it unfold and stuff like that. And that would be the passiveness. Right, and that's what I I do. That I watch you play games. She likes you know, to I, wait play. back in the shadows with her cold, wet blanket and just throw it all over whatever the characters are trying to do <laughs> oh, in the wow. game. You can't see me, but I'm rolling my eyes at you. I can't <laughs> you, see you. Well, they, you can. You're see rolling your eyes at our, but yes. all of our listeners. All, 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 all five of them. My mom's no. like, why was she rolling her eyes at me? Uh, that's how my mom talks. Apparently, I don't know, but. I have to disagree with my snooty booty. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's She's go back. Going way <laughs> back to that. Because, I did not have the rebuttal because for that yet. I played a Templar in the Dragon Age game. Those are definitely that not was snooty. Jacqueline. Templars what? are known to be very opening and <laughs> like welcoming of I all I played ages. a whatever, a, what lines walker y person and yeah. walk, I profit. Walk the game. line. Yeah. Undrunk walker. Yeah. It was like a monk. Right? No, I she she wasn't snooty with her. she was Do you very mad reserved. she got when she couldn't like just flip down that hole. She got super mad. She's like <laughs> I agility. Had I have all the agility. And that wall shouldn't even touch me. She I had dodge. Me. I had dodge. I should have been able to dodge some shit. She's snooty. <laughs> And that is one of the things we're role playing, is, and that's one of its best parts and one of the toughest parts is you know like you attempt to do something because you can attempt to do anything and then somehow when you you have no business almost of failing you fail but that happens in real life i would disagree but with that you, was though. like an outer character thing like the my only... actual rpg character was not like snooty a yeah, it snooty a mage. Bit, like, you, you were a little bit you were trying to shut down my plans i mean yeah they were evil but still well, your characters are always assholes. No, not true. <laughs> the, I would say the hardest thing in all role playing to do is just not crack any jokes. Like that's the hardest thing. Yeah, I that can't is hard do it. for you. As you're just like as I'm playing, like, my character's like, okay, it's super. Like he's gonna be super serious. He does. He's like from Sons of Anarchy. He looks like this guy. And he's gonna do this. And this is what he's gonna do. And then I'm like, just cracking jokes the whole time. And I'm like, I can't stop. How was my Malkavian snooty? My Malkavian was not snooty. Snooty. You need to like. Just move past this. <laughs> <laughs> we all agree with you. Yeah, sure. Um, Thank you. I s- totally agree. You better fucking agree. <laughs> oh. Or she's going to snooty Jeez, your booty. That's Words. right. I will snooty all over this. I'll explain how she's snooty later. <laughs> I'm going to put out a separate podcast. <laughs> Welcome to Dr. Cool Dogs Podcast, where we talk about how snooty my wife's characters are. <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> She did have a character that got all mad because we put ice on the back of her tunic and she freaked out and tried to have us all arrested. I don't remember that shit. That happened. It was me and the dwarf and we tried to we put ice on her tunic. Like, That's because you guys were a bunch of dicks. <laughs> but dicks fuck assholes. <laughs> you guys probably deserve that shit. Probably. I try to, I constantly try to sabotage you in RPGs. I know. Well, I, I just, just RPGs. It's super relevant when she's like the GM too. You're like, I feel like 
<laughs> this is kind of fucking me, just me. But then the shit falls out of the sky and hits Derek's character. She's like, face. if you're a warlock with a lot of stamina, <laughs> oh, right. I'm like, oh, I'm the only warlock in the party. She's like, oh, really? Hmm. All of you catch on fire. <laughs> you high warlock staminas. Stamina warlocks. Fire. <laughs> So, so I think to disprove this, disprove this idea or prove it, we need to play Fiasco. Oh, I'm, I've, you know, together. when I was a kid, I ate like a giant bag of dried banana <laughs> chips and got so oh, this sick of it. Have gone like so I can so never. Many words were inserted in there as you were talking. I, <laughs> Stop I cannot. Into him. I cannot eat those again without feeling sick. That's how I feel about Fiasco. <laughs> <laughs> we had the worst time. We couldn't even like we weren't even happy just like making jokes to each other. We were. It's so a game where you can, you're supposed to just make the shit up as I you go, and fiasco. we kept getting shut down somehow. Fiasco. Like, no, that doesn't happen. We should we should like, play what? a game and then have it on here. Yeah, yeah no, they were like sure. real mad. They like threw us in jail and that. all kinds of stuff. And then well, like, you can't attempt to break out. Like, was there a rule? <laughs> yeah, Maybe I mean, that should be our next next like mystery dungeon. Yeah, for yeah, sure. So. Actually, we could do. I'm gonna have to bring a Each scene bucket. could be one. <laughs> really I might be Ooh, sick I like that, that idea. <laughs> so we just do like each scene. two right. hours, and it'd be like that means the rest of the year. Scenes. Let's do that. That'll be cool. All right. Sounds like torture but, porn. I am not a fan. <laughs> like, no, it's not I, I'm, I'm serious. It would be much better with no, snooty. everyone at the table on board with whatever shenanigans. Richard going promises on. that I, it will be. I was there that time, right? One hundred percent. I think I was, but and I you saw how like upset I blocked we it were. out. Yeah, no, you like came in later. Like oh, okay. we, Derek. Yeah, oh you got off shit. shit! And we were just like, this is the worst. <laughs> Yeah, we, we decided that it was pretty much the worst. We were getting so annoyed. I think we almost left in the middle of this whole thing. Yeah, I don't bad. know why we stayed. It, it, yeah, I don't know why we stuck Well, we just out. kept the story going, which is the two of us, and that was it. Really? You you, you don't remember why you stuck into it? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, what are we talking about? <laughs> uh, yeah. you, over? you always just endure, so, you know. It's a failing of mine. Yes. Yeah. Fortify. Oh, oh, that's why you're still on the podcast. Okay, yeah. good. Because <laughs> it's painful. Why can't I that's quit why. you? <laughs> different I th- context. I think, I think to that one. No, nah, I think quote. it's the same. I don't. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure which character says that, so it could be bad or good for me, <laughs> or both. I don't know. Bad and good. So new. I'm spinning it I think they liked right it, now. so I think it's good for both of them. <laughs> new games played. <laughs> Excellent segue. <laughs> Moving New games on. played. Moving on. I was gonna try to make a segue, but there was just yeah, it just wasn't. It wasn't. It's hard to go from go cowboy sex right to. It is. It was a little yeah. tough. Unless yeah. you had like a game that had either one of those topics. Right. Or something, yeah. We were different. gonna talk about time bombs, so I was like, mm. Mm. yeah, I don't know. Well, their relationship was a time bomb in that movie. It did not work out well for them. Yeah. Gay <laughs> cowboys back then did not go well. Uh, time bomb is a. <laughs> Social deduction game where you're, you each have a role to play, so a good guy or a bad guy. And, um, you're trying to defuse a bomb that's gonna blow up the. Sounds like hot potato. London clock thing. Oh, the Big, London clock? Big thing. Ben. Big Ben, there you go. No, no, that's Big not Steve. the technical term. Yeah. It's Big Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Big what is it? Johnson? Is it the Flock of London? I don't know what the hell it, what's it called. It's the Big, Flock of London? Well, I know it's, it's Big Ben, Ben's but like, do they have another name for it? I don't think so. Ben's the Flock of London. Isn't it part of like. Yeah, it's actually so part of another structure. There's. Is it the. Like We're offending all of them. There's British seven British. diffusing <laughs> cards. It's like a three drool of cans. There's seven oh, diffusing cards. Oh, bloody hell. They don't even know. There's a bunch of other ones in there. And you mix them all up, and then there's like a bomb that's in there, and you mix that up. And the bad guys like are trying. Stew? What? Bombs do? No, just a bomb. <laughs> it's a fucking bomb. How do you mix up a bomb? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Moving on. We're, um, that seems like continue. a bad idea. You're like, I got this bomb that's fully functional. Well, no, I'm, I'm saying in the cards, up. how you play oh, in the cards, the cards. There's a bunch oh. of diffusers. There's the, the bomb, and then there's like just basically like blank cards, cards that mean nothing. You mix them all cards. up, and you uh, give them out to everybody. And the bad guys at the table are trying to get you to pick the bomb because once you pick the bomb, then the bad guys win. Um, what if I am? And then the, the good guys are trying to get all of the diffusers to diffuse the bomb. And there's seven of them in there. You play in four rounds. And if you don't end up getting all the diffusers, the bad guys win too, I believe. When Steve blows up. Yeah. Then Steve blows <laughs> up. Steve. With Ben, and then they have a horrible so relationship. Is it, are they like laid out like code names? 
Uh, no. So they're it's mixed up and given out to everybody. So oh, you get okay. like five cards. You look at them, and then you mix them up, and then you put them down. It's like go fish with bombs. And then somebody's given it's like it's just like chess. <laughs> The little clippers, and then you have to clippers. Yeah, clippers because you're cutting wires. Is it actual clippers? That'd be cool. They are like little. Okay. They're like little that clippers. Is better. Yeah, and uh, you put them on somebody's card, and they have to flip that card over and see what it is. And all the That's while, you're trying how you to kind of use bombs. You're trying to figure out who at the table is good and bad, because you know you're like, oh, I have three diffusers, or I have none, and you're trying to get the diffused portions as well as figure out. Who's who at the table? If you figure out who someone is, are they like out, or do you just no, not they trust stay in, them? And yeah, you're you, just, you just like don't, I'm not listening don't trust to you. Them. Yeah, and you don't listen. So to them. So what if you flip. convince everyone that you're a bad guy and you're not? Is that good? Then, yeah, then that, that sounds like you something you would do. That's actually it's, it's a good thing because then you could convince the bad guys that you're one of the bad guys. I mean, you might get in. You know, you might infiltrate the jihadist cell. And I've jaywalked before, guys. Then after Twice. after you pick seven cards, then you take all the cards that weren't picked around and you mix them up and then you redeal them out. So everybody gets like a new set of the same cards that were out. I, I know I keep saying this, but uh, some of these games just seem like they're begging and asking to have like a timer associated with it. Just think how good that game much better would be like if you had a fucking countdown clock. Does it have a countdown clock? It does not. But See? It was really what the intense fuck? It's still, a time though. bomb game. <laughs> What's next? Hex tiles? <laughs> yeah, you just randomly put them anywhere. That would be interesting, <laughs> uh, playing that with a timer, though. I think yeah, it really would. That's why we suggested House rule it. that shit. I'll play it. All right. We should do it. We should do it. That sounds like fun. You're very it's- feisty tonight. He is, like, super angsty. <laughs> it's been a long day. You're like emo Peter yeah. Parker. Yeah. It's probably on web on one right of now. the better uh, social deduction <laughs> games enough. that I've played, though. <laughs> Necro Anyway, yeah, it's probably I, one of the better social deduction games that I've played because I felt like you had um, a dr- a direction with it, you know. So, so we when you go around, like before you pick, do people say, "Oh, I have this many diffusers"? Yeah. So that's sure how, that's that's the bluffing portion of the game. Yeah, you don't you don't have to say anything though. It's not like written where you have to say. You can anything. just play like, the game. They can be like, "Do mute. you want some more water?" You don't, I'm not talking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I, I have a hard pass. Hard pass. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I did feel like there was a direction of the game that you. It's not worse. You yeah, know, some of the clockwise. like werewolf. <laughs> you get in that was to werewolf and <laughs> 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 you can almost become lost if people don't know what to say or do. You know, in are that you game? a werewolf? Yeah, or another in, I don't in know. werewolf. In werewolf. When, yeah, with are time you a werewolf? Bomb, My poor know, son's so cute in that. He just, he just, just tells the truth and just. Are you aware of? I sure. Am. <laughs> Look at this card. That's because he's me. He's my mini me, and yeah. he he can't lie very well either. That's why we always catch him doing bad stuff. Yeah. <laughs> he just, yeah. The other night, he just on my effing computer in the middle of the night. He downloaded stuff onto it. Like, I mean, like. That you would notice? In like, the, it's in the living room, bro. I mean, like... <sighs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> I like that parent sigh. <sighs> anyway. Your daughter would have like at least put like a sheet over the monitor or something. Like, he'll never notice this. <laughs> a little more devious. It was awesome. It sucks, though. It's uh, only available it's out awesome of the U.S. It sucks. Well, it's only available out of the U.S., so I have to go to like so a yeah it comes from the U.S. Canadian it's USA dealer made out hey? of the U.S. Canadian yeah there's hey? like a Canadian dealer that you out have of to go is that where you get like your your contraband um, board games. syrup because yep. I saw a TV show where like board games. They actually, that's a thing. Like, they sell syrup that's yeah. like you're not supposed to sell. I was watching some parody awesome. thing where there was like some lady was taking water yeah, from the Crystal Beezer, Geysers up there. Syrup. And she was coming back across like the border with them. And he's like, oh, what's in there? She's like, oh, it's just seven fizzy. And they're like, boy, you got like 12 bottles of that. You must sure like that soda pop. And she's like, yeah, this pop's great. She's like, almost got caught with my contraband water bringing it to the U.S. I have no idea what show it was from, <laughs> but I watched it and it happened. Clickbait. Uh, you matter. Yeah, clickbait. Sounds like clickbait. Yeah. I watch, like, I'll get into the habit of watching, like, one video on Facebook, and it's like, here's the next 12 semi relevant videos. They're not. They're not relevant. <laughs> you're like, so, I'm waiting for it to come back around and be relevant, yeah, but it never it's, does. It never does. <laughs> are, are you saying you're a master clickbaiter? 
He is a master clickbaiter. Good one, yeah. Richard. Yeah. All the time. Waiting for that. It's been All 30 minutes in the making. That's what he came up with. <laughs> 30 minutes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 29 in the tops. 10 seconds earlier. Anyway. Does anybody have David any other new school? games that they want to talk about, though? Wait, I'm sorry. What new was games? Any other new games anybody wants to talk about? Joy's we have not spot. played new games. No new There's games. There's a new game coming out. It's called uh, Arch Enemy. Nicole Bolas. Looks pretty good. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. We should totally talk about that. Who makes that game? Um, is it, I think uh, it's the um, the Coastal Wizards. Mm-hmm. Uh. Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> Arch Enemy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but it's a box game. It's pretty much it out of the box. box you play it's that a deck like builder. Like you, you could never have heard it's of deck builder. Magic of the Gathering before and still play it like straight right. out of the box. Because it huh. comes with three. It's pre-constructed. It comes with Nicole Bolas's deck, yeah. and then it comes with three other. Yeah, who doesn't want to play with them? Nicole Bolas's deck? Right, and then it comes with oh, event people cards. People do like playing with decks, but so. they're arch enemy no, cards. No, they're schemes. They're cards. schemes, right? But they're like just event scheme. cards. You just flip it over and resolve you it. Scheme and play with decks, and then you, resolve those things. Tell me, you don't want to be the big bad boss that we're all trying to beat? Like you would play this. <laughs> you would. Sorry, I'm I can't you. answer that. that Don't you want to be more powerful than us? 30. And then, like, we're like, we're like, oh, we're trying to beat you. And you're like, you little bitches can't handle this. <laughs> I'm like, safe words, safe words. She's like, there are no safe words. <laughs> X card. The safe word is, you're fucked. <laughs> that does sound like something she'd like. I already get enough of that. I'm sorry. I, I don't need any more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no so. And is it intermission time already? <laughs> let's go to intermission. No, let's do some more awkward. Just gonna have an argument. Family feud him? Yeah. What's family feud him? Haven't you ever watched Family Feud where like all these people are high five and the guy on the hands like yeah 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 and, and then they like move on and they're just like oh hey <laughs> left hanging. <laughs> I wasn't right. on the podcast. He's left. He's left hanging it at is, the end. It's it's, you need to get grab the mic, grab the mic, and the, yeah, grab the mic. They're just like nobody saw that, right? Not everyone at home. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was watching Steve Harvey and uh, he was going to this one girl and he was like, "What do you call your mom?" That. He's he's, he's like, good. You know, what's another name you call your mother? And she's like, "Um." And on the board is already like "Mama," and she's like, "I'd call her Mama." And he's like, "Uh, that's already been used. You got to try something else." And she's like, "Hmm, okay, nah, nah." And he's like. There's already na na on there. You can't just be like na na. It's a different thing. It's the same thing. She goes back to it like four or five. She kept going back and forth between those two and wasn't getting it. He's Find like, me that. Clip. Finally, he goes, "We're just gonna have to move on." <laughs> like, he just he just gave her the X and went to the next person because she just kept doing so it. Like family feud. It was feuded so her. bad. Yeah, it was. You know, poor Steve You'll Harvey. have to find that. He was losing I his mind. He was like going to the crowd. He's like, I don't call the guy like nee nee and na na or na na. It's still na. Nah. He's pretty he funny on it, I have out. to say. The crowd was all like, what the hell is wrong with this lady? <laughs> and she just kept doing it. Like, that was it. She was like, she's done. She's like, I got nothing else. I got mama and nana. That's it. <laughs> have you ever noticed that the comedians that take these jobs tend to look more and more disheveled as time goes on? Like They, <laughs> they just get they, tired they, of everybody's they, shit. They they're their like, oh, God. More and more can't as do they pl- do these family feud. And like, sure. Can't sure. Do this well, uh, actually, I think. I think yeah. that that's actually there's actually there was a curse that it was like because I think 
the first guy killed himself, and then there was, oh my God. There was uh, yeah. the other guy that killed himself, I think. Well, it's family I, didn't show. I, didn't think, I didn't think Louis What is happening did he not over there? Kill himself? Or I maybe he, he just he, like, maybe he, he went should have. psycho or something. He was like. playing, he's playing Branson, which is kind of like killing yourself. So. <laughs> did you well, find maybe, a clickbait thing maybe about he, that? No. No, <laughs> no, no. I've, I've heard that before. I can't remember where, but something about. Uh, it's probably one of your work meetings. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you know my Did you hear work. about the curse of Family Feud? <laughs> Pass say Jack. Anything for them to not work, probably. So They're just on the internet like, who else here has done porn in the office? <laughs> Maybe we should really kickstart uh Charity for uh, the uh, comedians who do these shows. You yeah, know, maybe that's. They Drew Carey looks like he's in- just stopped. He's like he stopped. Like he like he lost the love of food. That man lost some weight. <laughs> he he's did. like I don't Aww. even want to eat anymore. He's just so sad. Man, when I saw this. Like, just I did click. Meal, Gertrude, I saw. Uh, I clicked on this one where this guy won um, thirty something thousand on Plinko. So ridiculous. He had really? five. What he the had fuck five. Is Plinko? It's Come on, girl. thing that goes down. Oh. You, yeah, Spay a new little, to your pets, please. It's, what tokes, is it? It's the little token, and it goes down through the you know the prongs, and it goes down yeah, into the, back and the numbers. And why does like, anybody do that? That's stupid. Because you win money. The, the, the middle the one is right. ten thousand dollars. He got out of five tokens. He got three into the ten thousand. Wait, what did and then you, what did and you watch when you were sick as a kid during the day? Thundercats. She's like, <laughs> oh god, She's Thundercats. Like, I'm and getting Voltron. started. He's like, okay. Okay. I think I, cool. watch, I watched Ronin Warriors too. Although you know, I have to say, like, but that I was sat on the, during the day. I think I, I, have I talked I about this? I was born the, like six uh, months. I after can't get a word you. in edgewise. Whatever. I had fucking I mean, TV. Welcome to my world. I'm done. We're having what? What? Okay, go okay. for it. Okay, what yeah. did we watch? Oh no, I was just gonna. I, have I talked about it on the podcast before about I don't know. sitting the family down and like being like, oh, let's watch an old, you know, Voltron. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 And then how bad yeah. it is, and you're like, why was I watching this? They recycled the shit out of those uh, <laughs> scenes. It's like it was only like five minutes of yeah. animation. Yeah, it gets a little rough when you watch them. And like, you try to go back. Like, this is not what I remember. I'm telling you, still for me, the worst was Highlander. I remember staying up late, oh, like yeah. trying to like pretend like I was asleep, so this my is... mom would go to bed so I could watch Highlander on TV at like 10 o'clock. And it was your the Duncan McCloud, yeah, Highlander. Because the, uh, the movie, the first movie is good. Yeah, right. No, I'm talking about the TV cool. show with yeah. Adrian Paul, and oh, I thought yeah, this yeah. was like the best show. And I was like, this is such a good show. And then I got like a season of it. Like on DVD, like remaster for DVD, like four or five years ago. And I was like, God, what the hell is this? I'm like, wait a minute. The first episode, the guy who wants to become like their adopted kids trying to rob them. Wait, what? Was Tessa a different woman? Did they change her after episode <laughs> two? What? And I was just losing my mind. I'm like, where are they keeping all these swords? Some of these dudes aren't even wearing jackets and he's got a claymore. Where is it at? You, you just slide it down the back. Oh, like, yeah. like Wonder Woman. Yeah, yeah the bad. back of it holds it he up. He just pulled yeah. out of his collared shirt. Hold on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was like, uh, what was you it? just can't sit. Kindred the Embraced, that one. Okay. And I was like, that yes, was it's so right. good. That and then you walked, went better. back and you're like, no, this was. The, this well, was it's the, not, the, the 90s had basically the B movie TV shows like Kindred the Embrace, uh, Forever Night, uh, Highlander. Uh, wow, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules and Xena. Uh, Xena was, was good. No, that was that was pretty sweet. Yeah, Xena well, was good. Yeah, yeah, Hercules was a little goofy. His Hercules was ridiculous. But He's Xena like, hold on, let me go. Awesome. I'm going to go belly punch this hydra. Like, Hercules, job, buddy. yeah, but no, I agree. But uh, they what were kind of campy. But what about Yolus though? Well, I mean, he really brought some Atalicus? hair with him. Who? No, it was the Yolus. sidekick. Oh, from oh. Hercules. That poor guy. Yeah, he brought some <laughs> hair with him. I guess I don't know what he brought with him to the group. He brought being human to the group. Speaking of that, humans, was heartfelt. Thank you. Yeah. Let's talk about har- archmages. Uh, uh, tell yeah. us about this archmage. <laughs> And how how and is it different starter. than every other make game with the name talk. Archmage? Make small talk. Did we make small talk? She's like, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Drinks her tea. We have Archmage on Kickstarter. Uh, is that the full title? That, I believe that's it. Archmage, the awakening of the birth. <laughs> the origin. <laughs> the Our origins. Jesus Christ. Something like that. It, it, of the rebirth. Aginess. <laughs> Wait, what? And then it was, and then it was so, and it yeah, was no, good. I don't think that's what it's was called. there anything? Else? I, did, I thought it was just Archmage. I think it's just Archmage. Yeah, 
And then it was so. And then and like a really good. pretty like symbol that's all. Oh yeah, it's rainbowy <laughs> looking. The, the, Venn the Venn overlapping. Di- yeah. Yeah. The Venn diagram color wheel. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It was very pretty. I agree. It was pretty. I liked it. Um, <laughs> it was pretty. I mean, it looked. It looked good. Like the symbol in the early part of the video, and then you look at the actual boards, and it looked a little. Like somebody just threw some color. Circles. Oh, really? Yeah, it didn't look great. I but. liked it. I thought it looked good. I thought I liked all the art, but it was very colorful. It was very colorful. I think that was good. What? I I, I think I would have to play it actually because it it seemed like they were trying to do worker placement, but a little like area control. And that was the one with the like, German meeples. Well, you keep having the meeples like merge together. I think it was more yeah, like area dark control. crystal or something. Yeah, but no, the merging oh. of them though was like getting the bigger spell. You merged the apprentices stuff. together. Yeah. Thank so you the for tiles the, were, the tiles were, were colorful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, the art looked beautiful on yeah. the actual tiles, but. And they actually put their hexagonal squares together, their hexagonal oh pieces. They were all together. They were not. Yeah. They just were aligned. Placed in this is the one I kept trying to make room. a name, a nickname for, but I couldn't. I was like, I was like, oh, planeswalker, the planeswalking, and then I was like, Monopoly Light. I don't remember what I was saying. Monopoly <laughs> Light. <laughs> That's a pretty inexpensive game. He's, just roll a die and take yeah, money. Yeah, no, bad. I thought it was really <laughs> inexpensive and. It, what was it? 50? Even the collector's edition. Yeah, it was, was fifty five dollars for the collector's edition. You got some like, I don't cool know shit. Know what man. you got necessarily with the collector's edition? I don't think mm-hmm. it said. Oh, and this is the one that they actually had a money back guarantee if you don't like it. You get a gold foiled slip case. Ooh, there you go. I didn't. I didn't made out of one hundred percent gold. But I, it made I the box that was pretty, fancy. I thought that was pretty interesting that they had that guarantee on there because I don't think I've seen that before. I haven't seen really anything. I've like seen that it on either. those cereals at Walmart. Ew, really? You like the bag, big bags of cereal? Yeah, you know, I'm just, just gonna say. return this. <laughs> yeah, they don't it's resell fine. it; they just take it back. It's fine. It's fine. You've never <laughs> seen that before? Like lots of food has that. Well, and it was what one to four player. So if you're like at a board game convention with all your friends, you're probably more likely to talk about cereal than this game. That's where we're at. Wow. <laughs> Is that where uh, we're at? I, I don't know. I think you might be actually wow. right in this case. I don't know. I, I'm going to give you that one. I, was I thought it was enough. interesting. And it was like Since super it was reasonable pretty and colorful. Price, yeah, and it was and a decent price. Like, price and the art. You have wooden seem... meeples and stuff. Yeah. I'm just starting to get snotty where I'm like, this doesn't seem like it's bringing anything cool. So I'm like, eh, pass. It, well, I think it. I, it's one of those games where I, I see a bunch of stuff, but I don't, I can't feel like I'll Can't, know like, until I play how it. how it works and stuff yeah, like right. that with it. I definitely agree with that because, like, it looked like, oh, yeah, you totally have, like, kind of an exploration component and as you're, like, trying to air control and get enough power, I'm assuming, to level up your uh, servants to get the ultimate power so you can become the arch- archmage. Right. I thought the uh, the idea of the plants aligning around the edge of the board. Yeah, I was going to say, was and that, like, weird. stops the game, right? That was the end, that was one of the ends of the game, right? And I thought that was interesting too, the way, the way that they were aligning. So I like some time pressure because they're like hopping over stuff, and I but I didn't get a clear like image of how those move though, like I what think, when they're moving. I imagine they move at the end of the turn or something like that, but they didn't say hop I mean, over like, and stuff. Coming I mean, of the second sun. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it the hour it, it seemed station. like they. You could have kind of a king of the hill situation if you got Archmage. <laughs> uh, the, you got to Archmage first, right? You got there, and then it's like, like you have to be Archmage when the sun, when the plants align, kind of thing. I'm assuming. Just yeah, I didn't watch any gameplay videos as the rest of us didn't either. <laughs> Uh, well, I don't think they really, well, did they have a gameplay thing here? Or was that I'm where sure all the people were they like did. talking like super light across the room? Yeah, no, stuff, it was hard like, to hear them, so we skipped the gameplay on. on it. Watching YouTube videos so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Okay, so if you're making a game and you're a game company, at least fucking have some good sound on your video. Because if I can't, sounds. if I cannot hear some what is happening, like right. I'm not gonna watch. It's the akin video. to like, like I typing up shit it. and just sending it before you proofread it, kind of thing. Yeah. You know? Like. Yeah. Like check it yourself and be like, oh, this is. Kind at of least bad. have well, one other person listen to it yeah. before you publish it and be like well i'm not doing that again so this is what it is 
<laughs> and, and you could actually fix that audio. Like that audio could have been fixed. Um, but like, yeah, it was like an hour and a half or like hour, 10 minutes explanation of the game, which I think might have been a little, a little long. much. Not I much. think that was a different game, but no, no, that was Archmage. That was the guy with the, the vest and the big beard that we tried. To, no, that was the that was, was that the Lord's different Dusty one. <laughs> that was Lords of Hella, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Hello? Dusty McBearderson does Lords of Hella. Oh. Hella. <laughs> I don't know. Hello? For There's a Hella mad over here, yo. <laughs> Pass me that Zima. For 45 bucks though, like I would try it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I do a line I'd of try, that. I would try a lot of things for 45 bucks. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. That's like your offering thing. <laughs> I'm saying Thanks. games. God, dirty. Jeez. I'm just saying. You, as long as there's like, say, like if you're getting game mechanics involved, she'll like try it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I'm just going to roll a dice. <laughs> she doesn't like that. She likes to tr- strategically know what's going to happen and plan it. I'm going to strategically turn it to page 52 of the Kama Sutra. Here's your $45. <laughs> That is not strategic. Do you sir. want that? Do you want that in scythe money or do you? How you get it? In, that could be strategic because you're like, you got to plan your moves to make sure that works <laughs> out because you can't just go straight forward. You got to have a plan. Have you seen some you of that have, shit? You have to set. You have to set up pillows and you gotta, shit you and chairs. Warm up. You really have to warm up. <laughs> you have up. to do stretches ahead of time. You have to eat some curry. <laughs> You have to eat curry. You probably have yeah. to do some deception, That's like, I'm going here, but no, it's there. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, the my whole God. new world. <laughs> Wondrous things inside of you. <laughs> no one to tell me no or where to blow. Um, no. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. No. If you didn't want me to make that Good into a mashup, you should have. Speaking of mashups, yeah. let's talk about Lords of Hella. <laughs> Hella. <laughs> Hellas. Let's Hellas. match that shit up. I th- Plural Lords Hella. Of Hella. Psych. Not. This game had pretty ah. sweet looking miniatures, though. Yeah, the, the miniatures, if they look like that. Was are, this the one where it was like, the Greeks started to have a problem, and then the aliens came, and yes. things got bad. Yeah. Yes. And like, yeah. well, <laughs> damn, you just explained it, that really well. Yeah, it was a little str- I We this did not another, expect that alien. This is another area control game, but like the figures went from like regular miniatures to like these huge statue well, things the, and the shit that you Well, the huge statues is one of the ways to win is by building your statue first. So the, right. each one of those statues right. has it's like five pieces. It's the statue for your gods. Pieces. Right. So you're playing a hero with an army, and then each hero has a it's their own power. I the church, and, it's and then you're tr- you're basically you have multiple ways to win. It's it's very four X E. Like you're trying to your area control or build right. temples X, or whatever, X, build your X. monument. Not triple X, the fourth so X makes it okay. Exploitation. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, that makes it the way better. It brings it around. It totally you know, yeah. it's like yeah. the the part that's like ooh. Mm. <laughs> Uh, I thought it was an interesting looking game, but it, it looked, was it looked, really flipping pricey. Yeah, it looked badass, but it's one of those too. Like it was the like gameplay could be. It was a one one oh six. It was one oh six because it was in pounds on the page. Oh yeah, so pounds it, sterling. So it was actually one oh six for the base, and then it was one fifty five for the uh, for the deluxe box yeah. set or whatever. Yeah. Which I don't. But for if you're gonna go and get that, like you're gonna deluxe. get the deluxe. I mean, yeah, yeah, you're not gonna half ass. Well, the only thing no, you're, I not, saw, you're already spending one hundred and fifteen dollars. You're gonna spend one hundred and twenty-five. I mean, the right? thing you got the with the deluxe the was like the models were sh- basically shaded. They they had inked the models. They oh. hadn't even painted the models. They inked them, and then they had like a double-sided board, and maybe like a special box. So I'm down with that. I do a double-sided for, board and a special box. Yeah. But you're getting you rid of all your the right box. You're getting rid of all your boxes, though. Well, I'd do a double-sided board. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I would keep that one in a box, though, because if, you can't ha- if it has a bunch of minis and stuff like that, it's hard to fit in the bit boxes. So, yeah. So you guys I'm- have Arcadia Quest and bit box? So. Not yet. I, mm-hmm. I haven't done anything in probably like I don't know. Bit suitcase. It's like, like a month. Boxes worth of stuff. Yeah. It's gonna take a while. Yeah. We better you should just get some um, people looking for work. Out on the street to help you. Out by the Home Depot. Yeah. (laughs) Get in the back of my truck. (laughs) Offer a good day's pay. Am I going to be digging ditches? No, you're no, you're, you're playing be board games. Board games. Sorry. Oh no, I'm out. Sorry. Oh damn it. Or you could have you could. I have them paint them. Get a have a little sweatshop of painters. painters Why does it have to be sweaty? I have the AC on. (laughs) 
Well, that's what we have. Uh, what's this face from the snoring thing? Insert crickets there, please. Talking please. About <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Well, he's he's there to oh. paint things for us for money. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just yeah. Like, I mean, uh, like you're still gonna pay like sweatshop workers. Up by the Home Depot. Yeah, you're gonna pay them too. Well, can't he just be like the overlord? And like, oh, well, there you go. And he he's like he can critique light whatever. brush tips, light brush tips. Is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know. sure. Stroke it. <laughs> Overall, Thanks though, for like, oh shake it. Uh, Lord Zahella, it looked really cool, but I think I was just like mesmerized by like and the it figures. Was Hella backed already. It was hella Aww. back. Yeah. yeah. How long you been waiting? No, hella back, back girl. It's about two At hours. At least two hours. Yeah. Hella, I was gonna hella, say. Yeah. A, A. But I think a lot of people would almost buy that game just and they'll just use the minis for right. Whatever. I think so too. Yeah, I think that too for I their own so. RPG. Because actually, for the number of minis, it was like ninety minis or something like that for like a hundred and six bucks. Like that. Calculate that out. Like, How much are you paying for each mini? I'm not going to go there. You get the minis yeah. and then you you sell it. them individually to separate people for more money. There you go. That's how you do it. One dollar and one cent or something. <laughs> <laughs> really off, but yeah, in that room. And they already have the wash on them, so you're good. Yeah. yeah. That's how you make money off of board games right there. Right. Washing stuff with ink seems counterproductive. Yes. Well, it makes them look more, like more statuesque. More, more That's defined. just you thinking like a mom. Well, it's not washing. It's a like an ink wash. So, so it's like not washing, it's a wash. wash. Yeah, it's different. I don't care if you it's call different. it a wash or a washing. wish. It's still a wash. No, washing is like scrubbing, and then a wash is like dipping something into something and then like taking it out. Or it's like the guy who flies or. the firefly. <laughs> And he has what? an inevitable wash. trail. What? Oh, that's Walsh. Sorry. <laughs> wash. So close. W- well, if you're from Indiana, it's Warsh. Oh, I, my God. I just really, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, my hometown homies, but please say Hometown wash. of homies. My hometown homies in Indiana. <laughs> I'd like to meet your Ooh, hometown homies. Ooh, let's talk homies. about this next game, though. Oh. This one's going to be good. This one's going to be good, okay? Gen-con. Headhunters. <laughs> By gut that sounds like games. clickbait. You mean head space hunters? H dot E dot A dot D dot space. space. What was what? What did what did we put in there? Side hunt? Oh, you space. space. Yeah, the, the space. Word space. I put in the word and then hunters, and then you guys said space hunters, and so I thought. Like, so yeah. and somehow space we got hunters. flavored shower heads. Yeah, yes. and we did get flavored that shower happens. heads. That was weird. I want to know what flavors they have. <laughs> I will click on that. Schnozberry. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Me and Glory it. Hoggle just click on Don't everything click all on day long. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, yeah, I want to I go to the library. I've lost all days of my life. Just, uh, what's next? <laughs> I think it's fine on YouTube. I think YouTube might be fine. But She's other websites are, over here. It's kind of like going to Europe where they all have paperwork, right? What? <laughs> I was alluding to the whores. Oh, oh. Where, they, where they have their papers and their t- blood <laughs> tests. <laughs> they have doctor's visits. What the hell, man? Sorry, I guess <laughs> I was so lost. lost. Yeah. Everybody was like, what? <laughs> you know, like Europe's with the paperwork. So, <laughs> this look- Finders. Headhunters is a mishmash. Finders full of women. Of, it, it almost looks like pop figures, you know? Yeah. Like the little action pop figures. Like funky pop Yeah, pop. I think that yeah. feel like Plus. that's what they're trying to go for. They're trying to capitalize because, like, right. everyone and their brothers the funky pop yeah. figures. I think that's... Plus hexagonal, what, building, area <laughs> building. Hold on. Slash oh. war game. So I, here's what I would, I, I think. I would rather take my money and rip it in half oh than God. spend it on this game. <laughs> is it, like, it's kind of like HeroClix, right? Is that kind of like the idea that no. like you're trying to in move your very, guy around? HeroClix very had vague. a map. Yeah, no. It has a map. This has a map, too. It's got hexagonal map pieces. It no, you like just put them down them wherever you right. want. And yeah. then you pull out this anal bead string <laughs> to see how far you can go. This is the time. <laughs> That's what she they didn't want to stick it. They didn't want to put a laser pointer in every single one of them. So they just did like a laser range finder. Not like, like a, a not like a ruler. They thought like a beaded string. Yeah, a string with a bead on it. I wonder how accurate it is. I wonder if you measure. All it the looks like it's together, elastic like and shit. That's like, part of it because they want game reviewers to buy two so that you measure the strings to see if they're accurate or not. And they're like, "That's all of our sales we need." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, and all the components were in their heads. So yeah, their heads so you take off their little headpiece. So yeah. You hunt and for you it in their out. head. You can be from a, what they say you can be from an unknown civilization. Then how did you find them to bring them to this Kumite? Like <laughs> there's the and it's they're five and a half, five and a quarter. It's inch the patrons tall, so did it. Huge. Like the backstory, it. I was like, I was like, oh cool, they got like these these powerful and. En- en- Enigmatic. I don't know. That's Igmatic. a word. Igma- yeah. Igmat- yeah. <laughs> These different groups and everything. Yeah, like, they're like, from we, all we over gathered time. from time and space yeah. all these heroes from different there areas. Regular heroes. We wanted some and old then, guy heroes. cut to the stupid bobblehead <laughs> shit with the fucking hexes all over in random places. And then you put the anal beads out of my ass and then figure out where they go. You're like, hey, so if you want to move forward and there's not a hex that in front the, of you... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We just put it That in. was the best game review that iProfit has ever done because it was so accurate. About where the anal beads are? No, the whole thing. It was, it was awesome. The whole thing was there. <laughs> the whole, the whole head, thing is inside the whole of head it. Yeah, I might as well shove that bobblehead up my butt. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> And hunt for it there. To be fair, I don't think it bobbles. I think it's just hexagonal. Oh. Well, from above, it looked like they were playing with zeppelins. Like it just. It, zeppelins? No, yeah, that video. Yeah, that was bad. Like, yeah, it was the, from above, and it didn't. That was not a good camera angle. Came for from it. above. No, I. No, I'm serious. Like the. It, well, the whole mechanic portion of it just didn't make yeah, sense. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like it the didn't. the overall concept They're of the game, really the mechanics hard, part. Yeah. Just. I think they came up with the headhunters first, and they were like. How can we make this a game? Well, what the fuck fits in this head? Mm, hexagon. Let's put some of those in there. What? Well, it's so infuriating. <laughs> well, if it's any consolation, I don't think it's going to get backed because it, they had 15 days to go that. today. We and ain't it, backing that. We ain't backing that. They were one-fourth the way, so. Mm. Well... That means one fourth of the population was like, "This Rest sounds in great." Peace. Rest yeah. in peace. They probably years. didn't get through the whole video. Like they just got to the first part, and they're like, "Yeah, sweet. I, I don't need. I'm sold. I don't need to see anything yeah. else." It's like a trailer. I don't want to know if it's good or not. I yeah. feel I like I want to see the mini movie first. It would be something like a a little kid would play. I would rank it with like, uh, yeah. but it's too complicated for them to play. It, like, most of them are gonna be like, "This sounds." Well, no. Nice. What it would be is like they would. Like, yeah, they would total like. like yeah. Yeah, no, a little kid would just rent. Yeah, they would just randomly put that shit down, and just place it anywhere, right. and then it, yeah. So, it, it but for turn like, to play, use this acrylic hexagon. There's no marker. way you're gonna. Oh my I god, the imagine. acrylic hexagon marker was so stupid. Yeah. So stupid because they're like, and you know, place your little hexagon tiles out, and to make sure they're straight, put out this clear align hexagon yeah. thing and then, to align it. And why not just align like, the two sides that are straight yeah, next to each yeah. other? No. Uh, it would make no sense. Yeah. I was and like, oh you, man, this is gonna be like a platform. But the thing that would drive my mind crazy is like, you put those other hexes in the middle. Like, if you sh- somehow built to it and they didn't like match up and shit, you're. I mean, like, it makes you want to just flip the fucking table. <laughs> what if you just right. built everything, crazy like, in the here. same area? I mean, the main issue is, like, you want to go forward, and you just you go from one hex to just open space next yeah. to a hex? And right. It's yeah. kind of lame. Yeah. Where are you at right now, bro? I'm just on the table. Yeah, so, you're right, you have those terrain hexes, and then... You're just in this open space. Maybe right? they started well, with the terrain hexes, and they're like, fuck, we don't have enough room for all this terrain. <laughs> like, let's head. put some beads in, the in there, and it'll be well, fine. Like, be we fine. only fit five terrain tiles in this head. <laughs> we should have made bigger heads. Yeah, who is the innovator that's like, wait, I got how we can measure the distance. It was gunshot games. Well, <laughs> they said that they got these got from gods from time and space or whatever, so maybe they were jumping through time and space to get to each other. Huh? Like string theory? That's yeah. almost, almost good enough. That know. would warp their heads. Well, yes. no, they would spaghettify. But then so. you could, then you probably couldn't. You, could, you shouldn't be able to attack anybody unless you're standing on one of the pieces of ground. Right? No, I'm that, attacking you. From that time would make. And space hey, I was sense. trying. I don't actually think that's true. I'm just trying to make it sound better. But it's awful. It's really awful. All right, moving on. <laughs> Started so good and just. Okay. It really shattered. Okay. I'll bed. comfort you later. Oh it's wow! Shit the bed. Ooh, feel better. <laughs> <laughs> All better. Um, Ding. let's see here. Played this week. Trekking National Parks. Trekkie National Parks. Trekking. Park? Trekking. Trekking. Like oh, that's a um, that's a expansion that the Maricopa they make County it, uh, version is, is Druggies and National it's Parks. Conver- it's the oh my god! Licensed version of the Star Trek. Yes. Version. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's made by Druggies Blink and the Parks. Inc. Blink Inc. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, uh, what is it? Is it a wash it? of ink? Sorry. <laughs> it isn't a wash of ink. 
You can wash the ink, but you're, it's not a wash. Uh, it's very like a, what is wow, like I'm missing everything today. The train game. God damn it. Plinko. No. <laughs> no. No. It's Railroad. Ticket Express. to ride. Ticket to ride. Thank you. you oh, my God. All aboard. It's very ticket to ride Ticket to ride. But she don't Except care. like, I don't know. It's a little different than. Yeah, I was gonna ride. say you're because like you're not building right, your copyright. trains across or anything. You can move around. You just are. With the cost of a, a, a car, a val- that much value of a card. So right. you're moving. You're yes. actually moving your piece around to collect well, these stones. Well, I think the, the then- biggest difference is right is that you're not just collecting a route. So you're not just trying to go. Oh, I went here, here, and here. Here's my route. With trains, you're actually trying to collect. The beads because whoever has the most yellow. Well, there's kind of the different ways or... to what what I thought was interesting about that game is there are kind of like different avenues to victory. You could right. potentially there are because we played that at Maricopa. Con, yeah, and, I, and the guy I, was all surprised that you. Won I went by aggro. Just beads. Yeah, I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna fucking take you these things yeah. that are like, worth about. But you didn't get any like and like he made the game. He's like, oh, I've never seen someone really do yeah, that. Yeah, I'm before. like, yeah, I'm not gonna get any of those things. These well, things have a value. I'm just gonna take them all before you guys get there. I just like yeah. blitzed it. Yeah. yeah, the bead portion of that where you're collecting the beads because the beads are on like different little cities placed around the United yeah. States. The first one to get there, kind of thing. And yeah, different if you parks. have the majority of that color, and there's what five or six different colors. Yeah. On there, if you have the majority of each color, you get like five points for each of those. So you can win based off not of that. each bead, but each you know if you have the most groups of colors. Of that yeah. yeah. Um, and I feel like. That's the easiest way to win that game. Most straightforward. Yeah, if you go straight for the beads, and if nobody knows what's happening, right? Like you can just easily win the game because that's a huge amount of points. Right, and and that's the thing is like if you're trying to figure out all that other stuff, like that's such Uh a long game type of thing. Where the other one, yeah, if you just blitz through it, like then you you're almost if you're uncontested, right? I agree. Yeah, if if yeah, exactly. And if somebody doesn't know that going in, so if you play with a whole bunch of new players and one player, a good way to really it's make like them winning, not have a fun knows time. how to play. Right, right. Like they're you're just like, gonna go ahead. Losers, you lose. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't yeah. see the strat, did and they're not even gonna. The other players aren't even gonna know until the so, end. And they're yeah, like, and they're "Whoa, like, what we the fuck? You didn't do anything, really you asshole!" Well, I Thanks for <laughs> teaching us this game, prick. Yeah, I play with the the new post postcard expansion. Okay, and so how's that? You don't even know how to play without that, right? <laughs> well, I, yeah, not even a clue. You can't even play the <laughs> I don't game even without the postcard expansion now. Like, uh, right. But, but let me be clear. I do actually like this game. Like, no, it is, it is a good game. It's like no. a different flavor. No, I, I, one's, a, one's a Coke, one's a Dr. Pepper. I'm just saying you have to be watchful of I that particular mechanic. You have to be yeah, one is combative better. against it and be trying to get those beads as well or else like your game is fucked. So. Yeah. yeah, that was a much better use of beads. Yeah, by the way. It, it, much much better. Use and they were much nicer them, looking. They're not they were very together, pretty. Though, yeah. so. I want them less up my butt than the other but, ones. Yeah. <laughs> but the actually hilariously, the postcard expansion adds a mechanic from Ticket to Ride. So oh, you does actually, really? so you actually uh, the postcards actually you can you take they're kind of like those route. Things, yeah, they're kind of right? like route. So you can take it, them as instead of drawing cards, you can take one and then you. It has a point value, but if you don't complete the the mission on the postcard, then you get negative points. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it adds a little yeah, more risk reward mechanic. kind of thing, um, which I think adds a little more depth to it. But uh, and and the uh, the different parks and stuff like that, like it seems like a a nice game that you could like. Almost do as a learning. Like well, you could play with anybody. Right. Well, you, you could accidentally teach your kids stuff. Your yeah. kids are like, oh, I don't have The only thing I have like, against sucka. that particular thing is the fact that that map that is on there <laughs> is not accurate you, like, oh, at all. Yeah, like, that was a feedback thing I remember. Weirdly totally weirdly bubbled. But yeah, what so they need to do is they needed to have like a line dot like where the actual location was. Like, cause yeah, like a little it, right, so that you didn't line like going down. I thought because sometimes the, I'm looking for something I'm like, where the fuck is Nevada? Where's right. this place at? That's in like, a total different state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So right, so that could be a little confusing and you don't right you don't want to teach a kid that you know the grand canyon's like in missouri or whatever you get on there and you start like drawing your own lines yeah <laughs> this is what it actually looks like <laughs> <laughs> now what's the points values associated with those route cards though i think they were in the i think it was like two to five i think 
Is it? Okay. Yeah, so not in- insignificant amount of points. About the that. same as but like the cards you would collect either. unless you got that five point thing. Because yeah, most w- of the cards are about like what, two to three points. Yeah, and there's a couple big ones. There are a couple big ones, but they're rare. Yeah. Like rarer. They are harder I, to find, the big yeah. ones. I think it was one of those things where like if you couldn't figure out how to get the po- the car the regular cards, like the postcards kind of made and it so helps. you could kind of go that direction instead and just do whatever you wanted. Do you have to take a postcard? No. Okay. So Grandma was, don't get. No well, then, do you spend postcard. an action to take a, po- a postcard? You do. <laughs> how how many can you take? I think you can have as many as you want. Seven. Okay. okay. <laughs> Seven is the maximum. You, you have know. to discard at the end of your turn if you have more than seven postcards. Are you just making some shit yes, up? Yes, they're making it up. <laughs> some shit up. Unless you have Gideon's intervention in play. Wow. Okay. Bring it you back guys have to been magic. ridiculous tonight. Ridiculous. I think they've been... Uh, I think we've been just, I, the, just right the right amount of ridiculous. ridiculous. I think uh, I've I been... say about too ridiculous. That's what we are. We're about too ridiculous. <laughs> too Three. ridiculous deep. Well, ridiculous. check us out ridiculous. on Favorite Game Friday on Dice Tower or you at Epic do. Gaming Night on Instagram. Also, take a look at our show, Mystery Dungeon 1000. It's a mystery. We will look hopefully it, be making listen. more of those very, Just very look. soon. It's clickbait. Don't do it. Oh, no. Oh. Master it's clickbait. Clickbait. <laughs> <Do it. laughs> and uh, let's see here. Crit Hit is doing Pay to Play. For their uh, I do pay to win. Convention. Just like Europe, they got papers. <laughs> yeah. They do. So, so you clean. can go down. If you didn't get your tickets, you can go down there and pay like a penny and play a game. Or if you want to stay for the day, you can play for the day and pay, pay them a little bit more money. Can yep. you use Canadian money? Uh, I'm sure that if you had a Canadian credit card, we could use that. But I don't, <laughs> know. I don't know if Jim is going to take cr- right Canadian money, but he might. Actually, hilariously, because half of the money for this, uh, because the con's already paid for, half of the money from now on goes to charity. So, which is awesome. So, if you want to just come out there, give Canadian coins and check it out and support a charity, like you can do that too. You know, if you've never been to a charity. uh, well, an RPG convention, or oh. you know, you just want to check out some board games and look around and stuff. You can just go there and look around. Right. And, it's kind of like an RPG arcade. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, and, and put a quarter uh, on the table. Crit, I got hit, this one. crit yeah. hit az dot com. Uh, if you want to go for free and you happen to either know how to run some board games or or a uh, eight hours worth of gaming, you want to run it, you can get a free pass. So yeah, talk for to the Richard. Weekend. So oh, hall pass. Yeah. At, at RL newbie on Twitter. That's or, right. Get at him. Or and Richard at uh, crit hit az dot com. Make sure to or rate. Richard at Tasteful Dudes. At tasteful dudes. <laughs> oh, throwback wow. to last year. <laughs> Woo. Make sure to rate Our and review us year. on iTunes and Stitcher. <laughs> we appreciate that. that. <laughs> we will give you virtual high fives and stuff. Yeah. yeah. All up in your face. I'll give you a birth, birth, birth show. <laughs> I was going to say show? Bur- <laughs> a virtual what? You I was going to say a virtual show? back rub, but. It just came out really bad. I don't know. I'm sure that's that's how the virtual back rub would go. It just came out really bad. I'm sure it'd be fine. Or prematurely. Oh. oh. Night, would would you like be typing in there like, what kind of lotion do you want me to use? <laughs> Lubriderm. <laughs> no. This has been a Glory Hound production in association with Abnormal Entertainment. For more shows, game news, and amazing adventures, follow us at gloryhound.com, at gloryhound on Twitter, or in Glory We Trust on Facebook.
head to abnormalentertainment.com for all of our podcasts and blogs. Go to cinemaheadcheese.com for our movie reviews and news. Don't forget our YouTube channels, Abnormal Podcast and Cinema Head Cheese. Get us on Twitter, at Abnormal Podcast, and find all of our shows and Abnormal Entertainment on Facebook. You've been listening to the Abnormal Entertainment Network.